Hey guys, Kiana here with a new video. I hope you guys are doing well. 2021 has been acting a little suspicious the first couple of weeks, but we're gonna keep it rolling. So before we start, don't forget to subscribe and follow your girl on Instagram. I'm gonna leave it right here for you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this video because it is a reaction video. I'm gonna be watching my 25th birthday surprise vlog on my TV and I'm gonna be reacting to the behind the scenes things that were happening without me even knowing. So if you're interested, then just stay tuned. Are so freaking cute. I'm here watching with my son. And yeah, right, Papa? Let me tell you that I had no idea that they had all of this plan. The plan was that we were all just gonna meet up, just them two. They were supposed to just come to Connecticut and meet up with me and my husband, and that's what was going to happen. But no, they had other plans. Oh, uh, my mom and my godmother and my cousins were gonna be there obviously because it's their house but that was the plan so all of this was like a total shock to me that's why my crybaby ass was crying yeah. Blah about her birthday. I sure was feeling blah. I didn't want to plan nothing. I didn't want to do anything. I was just over it. Let me tell you guys, my friends are mad funny, especially Cynthia. I swear she is the only clown. She does all these faces in videos and just in real life. Like right now, she almost spilled her coffee. This is real life how she would react, and it's so hilarious. I was watching these back and I'm like, bro, what? So we went to my favorite cake shop thanks to my mom because my mom's the one that introduced us to this cake shop like my favorite and their cakes are amazing like amazing and the Bronx always gets cake from here the same thing Daniela loves this so she suggested it for us to enter for my wedding and I was like sis woman empower me and Cindy just looking at her like, uh, somebody please help me. Oh my god, this is like a supermarket. Like, it's so... Yo, they did so much during the time that I thought that they were like a home sleeping. Connecticut ass place. Mind you, Cindy was actually born in Hartford, Connecticut. So when Daniela said that, I started dying because I was like, the irony. My best friend has a cooking page, so if you haven't already followed her on IG, go follow her. Cooking with Sin, her food is a bomb. All these decorations, I was not expecting any of that. Like, if you see Kate, he's here jamming. Right, Papas? My mom, my sisters, my cousins, the kids, like everybody was doing something. Y'all see him? Everybody was doing something. Like I did not expect my grandma, my my godmother, my aunts. Like basically everybody that was there for Thanksgiving, okay, Kate chilling. Everybody that was there for Thanksgiving was there for my birthday. And probably like two or three more people due to COVID and the restrictions of more than certain people in the house. So yeah. Since the house is three floors, it was like very well divided. So. My best friend said that she was looking on Pinterest for this decoration for months. Like months. And I was like, how sis? If I told you that I wasn't planning anything for my birthday, but she and my other best friend and my mom already had a vision in their head that no, you're not planning nothing, but we are. And they got my favorite cake, red velvet. If you don't know, jot that down. Red velvet is my all-time favorite cake. All of this stuff was basically DIY. I think some of the stuff that they bought were like the pumpkins, the snowflakes, um, the roses backdrop, and the actual real roses. But other than that, everything else was like decorations that my mom had around her house. Um, I think the, the fairy lights were also from my mom's house. 
and obviously the balloons they had to purchase and stuff unless it was like real flowers everything else was definitely like pretty diy and the girls like bought the supplies and were able to get everything ready so this is my favorite scene when they were just sitting by the staircase waiting for me because their conversation was so hilarious because my best friend knows i cry for everything You hear my mom yelling? <laughs> oh my gosh, she's so she new. She so hood from the Bronx. And this is gonna be like, oh, I'm a... Oh, you guys got your bread. Let me put on a dress. They were so confused. Cindy was like, what? what do you mean put on a dress? Like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, what are you talking about? Because the plan was that we were supposed to just all get dressed up and go to the basement and drink mimosas. It was supposed to be just the few of us. But then, like, a couple more of my friends showed up and I was just, like, in complete shock. So, they were they were so confused. Like, what do you mean get dressed? Like, we're supposed to wear pajamas. My best friend was kind of confused. She was having an anxiety attack. Like, I cannot look at her. And it's crazy because somebody had already called my husband and I was like, oh, why are they calling you? Like, that's mad sus. And he was in the car just, yes, yes, yes. So that kind of, like, gave it away. And then they was like, one of them had texted him, like, before we left our house. And I was like, hello, like, what is going on? I wasn't expecting my boo marinette to be there. Like, I was such in shock. Like, you guys don't understand. That's one of the main reasons why I started crying because I was not expecting all this. Oh my god, I am such a crybaby. Like the Meg the Stallion song. That's me for everything. I can know that something's happening and not no details, but I always freaking cry. I'm gonna make a video. My girls made a video of every surprise that has happened to me and that I've cried. And I'm gonna make another one and add a couple more that they didn't have because it happens to me all the time I always end up crying even though like oh, yeah I knew we were gonna hang out But I wasn't expecting all this and all this cake and drinks and decorations like I wasn't expecting all that so I started crying I'm such a crybaby y'all like I'm so sentimental I'm a hard ass on the outside but I'm really sentimental Hey my baby Look, my family, my godmother, my grandma, my mom, my aunts, they were in pajamas too. They were dancing. They was not missing out. Even the girls, the little kids had pajamas. My son had pajamas, but uh, they couldn't find them so. Like, he had regular pajamas. I know that everybody's going to have pink pajamas, but he had his own pajamas. And me and my mom took shots. My first drink ever in life was tequila. So, you know, I had to take it back to the roots. And my stepdad always throws down. Like he throws down for every event, but for my birthday, he especially throws down. And you know I had to cry during my prayer because we had to thank God for everything. We would not be here and be celebrating such a huge milestone, at least in my life, and Thanksgiving the day before if it wasn't for God. So you know I had to incorporate him in my special day. And for those that don't know, yes, I am Catholic. You guys know we couldn't stop without doing a TikTok. My husband, let me tell you, my husband had me weak because he was trying to be the center of attention in front of everybody and he ended up being pushed to the corner and he looked so funny. Like he was going in like harder than everybody. We did this one and oh my god, me and my son's car, that was the funniest thing ever because there's a 65 pound weight limit and I'm well over 65 pounds and my mom's like, girl, get up, you gonna break that. I ended up with a fork in my hair because I didn't have a scrunchie. So it was so funny because in one of my Instagram stories, I'll probably post it somewhere. I had, I was sitting in the stroller, I had opened my gifts and everybody was saying, Oh, your mom gave you Pandora charms. I was so wasted the next day that I was like, I didn't get no charms. And then they were like, yeah, you opened your laptop. 
my laptop what and then they were like yeah it ended up under the dog's bed and i'm like how my laptop ended up there i do not remember opening that and then they were like yeah and we took a fork out of your hair and i'm like well i had a fork in my hair they were like well you said you didn't have a scrunchie so you put a fork in your hair to put your curls in place and i'm like but all in all it was like a really good night and i can't thank my family and my friends enough for it because it was so funny and then just seeing everything that was happening behind the scenes that i didn't know that was happening was hilarious like thinking about some of the things i'm like man like this is definitely something that so and so would do or this is definitely something like super ironic or inside so i had an amazing time and my 25th is going down in the books and they did a photo shoot of me like we spent three days in danbury and they ended up doing a photo shoot for me so it was so much fun and if you're into more reaction videos like those tiktok reaction videos then let me know and i'll do a couple more i'll try to be a little bit more funny because it's my first one kind of nervous and yeah but i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next one you want to say bye, Papa? Say bye-bye.